Hey guys, it's Rob from Flail Throughs, and we're back with Gundam Battle Operation. Um, I learned a couple of things this week. Um, one thanks to a fellow Gundam Battle Operation player on YouTube called Lord Antonius. I'm going to give you a link to his video in the description of this one that shows you where how to invite people to rooms. So, you know, if you want to send me your PSN ID, either you know, through a direct message or in the comments or whatever. I will add you to my account, and next week we will be able to uh, hopefully play together. Um, there's a new variant map this week. Uh, it is the City at Night, so we're going to be looking at that. And for today's video, I'm going to use the Zaku 2 S type. I got a level 3 one of those. It's pretty good. And I should be able to get just enough money from this match to pay for the Jim Kai I unlocked earlier. So, as soon as the room fills up, we will get going, and we'll be back in a minute. And we're back, and we're loading and about to go to the map. I have to admit, I like the city at night. It's a pretty decent map. I wish there were more lights in the buildings, but that might be a little bit tough to pull off. Also, you know, in terms of the cover of night, it wouldn't really be as effective, so... It, it's it's a pretty good map. I've had a pretty good week, actually. I got the opportunity to review the new Transformers game, Fall of Cybertron, for tformers.com. Got an advanced copy and everything. That was fun. Really enjoyed that. So It's a great game. You should, uh, if you like Transformers or Giant Robots, which, if you're playing this, I bet you do, it, it's worth a look. The, the campaign mode is a lot of fun. You get to play Grimlock, get to play a giant space dinosaur. <laughs> And now on to the Gundam. See? Very dark. Fortunately, my Zaku is in fairly dark colors, so it's going to be hard to see. Hopefully. If I hit a stupid button, it's probably because I'm still thinking of the fall of Cybertronic uh, control scheme, so... If I start leaping into the air, I was actually trying to dash. Nothing major. Okay, you guys taking that point. Four on four map, just get a little tricky because you don't have the kind of coverage that you otherwise do in the, in the broader matches. But let's see where everybody is and what they're doing. We've captured a fair number of points. We've each captured three points, so... I cannot see anybody, which, again, that's the point. Uh, but most everybody seems to be going this way, so let's see what happens. The Zaku S-Type is almost as fast as the FS, which I believe has the highest foot speed on the Xeon side. Can't guarantee that. The Goof might be a little faster. It feels faster, but feel and reality are not the same thing, so... And as you can see, it's a little bit hard to make things out. You can tell who's yours by the, uh, By both the numbers over their heads and the color of the... Uh, of the, uh, optics on the mobile suit, so... I'm hanging back and using the bazooka, because melee is tricky, especially when there are other people of your own in the area. Which, since it was three on two, there are now not. So, I'm going around the corner, waiting for them to come out and get me. Well, they're out. Fortunately, the guy who captured the point behind me is no longer behind me, so... It is now three on me, basically. Oh, two on me, that's a little better. Grenade! Yeah, see what I mean? I meant to hit the dash button and instead I leaped into the air because that's where the dash button is on Fall of Cybertron. Oops! Catch him with the tackle. Not sure where he went. There he is. The S-Type Zaku can do a two-hit combo at least. Which the normal Zaku cannot. So, it's a good all-round mobile suit. It's basically between the normal Zaku and the FS in terms of capabilities. It works. Now back off and hit that guy with the bazooka. Overshot, hit the grenade. And move in for the Heat Hawk while he's facing the wrong way. Got him. Honestly, I think playing the, the other game has helped me with this one. I've, I had a really great day the other day playing this. I 
killed it in the Gundam Ground type three, uh, three games in a row. Now today I didn't play quite as well. Hoping to nail him with the tackle, didn't, but hit him with pretty much everything else, and then somehow he got me with the tackle. And took a lot of my health while I was down on the ground. He missed his tackle. I didn't miss my slam, and he's dead. Now there's just the other one. And I'm on the ground. So. I was invincible. You waited too long. Ha! Tackle. Sweep, and... We both went for the knockdown at the same time, knocked each other down, because this is Gundam Battle Operation. Caught another one with the slam. Just my lucky night, that's all. Got the assist, because he actually did get it done, so... I am not in good health, so I'm going to hang back and play support while he goes to mains it, so... Which is better, because that way we won't be crashing to each other face first with our Heat Hawks, either, so... Oops. He's headed my way. Both missed our tackles. I'm going to do something stupid and risky. While they run off that way, I'm going to try and take this point. If I get it... Fortunately, the other guy who just deployed didn't see me, I think. So... Time to do some quick repairs. We've got a good lead, so I can't complain. And repairs. I'll wait until the one gauge is uh, done and then head back out, because this is tedious to do and to watch, so... There's one enemy still fighting with one of ours. I'm going to see if I can get to their base. I have my doubts. Actually, no. I'm going to head over and try and help this guy out. Because I'm not sure how well he's doing. And I think he just died, in fact. Yep. So. Oop. I think there's another one here I can't see. Because we're, I'm taking some hits. Tagged him. Tackle them. Chop them. And back away. Aim too high. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, two of uh, on my people have dropped out, so that is weird. I don't... Maybe there was lag, maybe they just got bored or annoyed, I don't know, but... Whatever it is, it's just the two of us, and I'm not sure how many enemies are left either, so... Enough that somebody just planted a bomb at our base while we're fighting here, so it may be two on two. Got him. So we're going to go support the guy. Trying to plant a bomb down there, because I'm sure that guy who just spawned will be spawning here trying to defuse that bomb. I would. Probably on foot. It's going to be hard to see him at night, but... There he is. Got him! Yeah, that bomb's going off. Although, he seems to think there may be somebody there, so let me pitch a grenade just in case. Not a one. Yeah, it's going off. Our base got blown up. They actually took the lead. But, assuming that bomb does go off, we will still win it. Okay. Back to the bazooka, and let's see what we can do in 14 seconds. Not a lot. Probably not even reach it. Yeah. There's that round. 
作戦終了です Just waiting to see、uh, the results, but I mean, we know we won, so let's see what happens. Man, that's taken a while. It may have been a lag that got、uh, everybody else gone. But we'll see. And. Mission completed. Yeah, lost. Okay, not bad for three on two, all told, so. And. We'll see what we get for this. I got the, I got an, I the Jimkai plans, but I haven't had enough、uh, points until just now to、uh, buy it. So then there's the,、uh, the Zakukai is almost、uh, completed, but of course I'll need probably another 10,000 to make that. So that'll probably be next week's videos. So let's see, money, 1,000. Yep, that's enough. So got. A thrust, thruster increase, yeah, 80% of the Zaku Kai, a bronze chip, which is more money, which is, you know, at this point I'm not going to complain about. So, that's it for today, guys.、Um, do me a favor, check out that video if you want to play. Get me your PSN ID and come back tomorrow for the Jim Kai, and I will see you next time. Later.